Hey everybody, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number 32 in Microsoft Word. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that I'm going to show you how to use the mail merge for letters and documents within your Microsoft Word document. The advantages of using mail merge will be that you can import a database with your customer data directly into your Word document. This will save you time by not having to type each set of customer information individually into every letter or document. Also, each customer or client will receive their own personalized letter versus receiving a letter addressed to dear client or to whom it may concern. So let's go into Microsoft Word and I'm going to show you how to use your mail merge for letters and documents. As you can see, I've gone into Microsoft Word and today I'm going to show you how to use your mail merge for letters and documents within Microsoft Word. Mail merges are used so if you have a letter that you want to send to your clients, you can download their information with regards to their name, address, city, state, and zip directly into your letter. That way your customers are not receiving a letter addressed to to whom it may concern or dear occupant. We're going to go into Microsoft Excel and create a customer database. And once this database is finished, we're going to import that database directly into our Word document. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to create your letter or document that you want to send to your customers. The next thing that you'll want to do is to go into Microsoft Excel and create your customer database. As you can see, I have a sample database already created. But before you create your database, go down to the bottom left of your screen and you'll see three tabs. One will be Sheet 1, Sheet 2, and Sheet 3. Double click where it says Sheet 1 and rename this tab to Customers. And I'll explain why as we get further into the tutorial. So once you've renamed this tab to Customers, you can start by creating your database. The first thing that you'll need to do is to create your header. As you can see in my header, I've got first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip code. You should also see that where I have first name, last name, and zip code, there are no spaces between these words because when you use mail merge, it will not recognize spaces within your header line. So once you create your header, you can then proceed on entering all of your data for your customers. Once your customer database has been completed, save it and make sure that you remember the name and where you put it within your directory on your computer. So once this is done, you can get out of Excel and go back into your Microsoft Word document. We're now ready to start the process of merging all of our data together. You want to move up and you want to click on the Mailings tab in your ribbon toolbar. When you click on this, go over and click on Start Mail Merge. When you click on Start Mail Merge, go down to the bottom and choose the option that says Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. When you choose this option, your Mail Merge Wizard will pop up to the right of your screen and this is where you're going to begin. You're going to be given a list of questions that you need to answer so that Microsoft Word and Excel can work together to create all of your letters. The first question is what type of document are you working with? We're going to be working with letters in this tutorial, but in later tutorials I'll show you how to do envelopes and labels as well. So once we have letters selected, we can go down to the bottom and click on Starting Document. The next thing it's going to ask you is, how do you want to set up your letters? Do you want to use the current document, the one that's already on your screen, or do you want to start from a template, or do you want to start from an existing document? Since we already have our document up here, we're going to make sure that Use the Current Document is selected, and then we're going to go down and click on Select Recipients down on the bottom. Now it's going to ask us where do we want to get our recipient list. Do we want to use an existing list, which we have already created, or do you want to use your contacts from Microsoft Outlook, or do you want to type in a new list? We're going to use an existing list, the one that we just created, and then I'm going to go down and click on Browse. From here, I'm going to go up and I'm going to select the directory where my file should be located. Once I locate the file, I'm going to double click on it one time. This will open up all of your contacts that you created. And this is where I wanted you to save your tab as customers. 
because as, as you can see, I've got customers, I've got sheet two and sheet three. So I wanna make sure that I'm using the tab that has all of my customer data information. So once this is highlighted, I'm gonna click on OK. Now it's gonna bring up all of your customer data that you just typed in. All of these names have check marks beside them, but you can exclude somebody from this list just by removing the check mark. But since I wanna send this to everybody, I'm gonna make sure that all of my check marks are in and I'm gonna click on OK. Once you do this, your data is just about ready to use. Now the next thing it's gonna ask you for is how do you wanna proceed? So go down to the bottom and click on Write Your Letters. When you choose Write Your Letters, you're gonna be given an option for an address block and a greeting line. And these options are also available to you now up here in the Mailings tab of your ribbon toolbar. So we're going to go to the address block. What you do is put your cursor where you want your address for your customers to be located. This will give you their name, address, city, state, and zip. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna click on the address block one time and it's gonna bring up an example as to what it's gonna look like. You shouldn't have to make any further changes to this. So when you click on OK, you'll see that the address block has been added to your letter. Next, go down and put your cursor directly above your letter where you want the greeting to go. Now go back up to your mailings tab in your ribbon toolbar and click on the greeting line. When you click on the greeting line, you can make some changes as to how you want your letter to show up. Do you want it to say, Dear Sir, or To, or do you want no actual greeting? I'm gonna leave it at Dear, so I'm not gonna make any further changes to my document, so I'm gonna click on OK. Now you can see that the greeting line has been added to my document. Now you can go up and click on Preview Results, and this will give you your first preview as to what your letter is gonna look like. And this is what your customers will receive. It'll have their name, address, city, state, and zip, along with Dear and their name. And this name should correspond to the name above it. So now that we know that our letter is, is in order, we can go up and click on Finish and Merge. When you do this, you're gonna click on Edit Individual Documents, and you wanna select them all. And when you select all and press OK, it'll print up all of your letters on your screen. And now you can see my first letter, my second letter, and all the way through. So all five letters have now been written and all of the information is correct with regards to my customers. So this is how you insert or use your mail merge for letters and documents within Microsoft Word. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscription button located at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.